Hello and welcome back to the Son of the Toa. Uh, last time we found a Krona, and more than that, we actually found the tablets that this guy over here wants. So now we are back in Kokoro and we're just gonna give it to him. So we gave the tablet. Thanks! For Tom and Torin, you two aren't half bad. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't have much to repay you with. That's alright. It's our duty, I suppose. Wait, maybe you could use these. I found them lying in the snow some days ago. And we get three hero points. Well, I suppose I'll be going off then. I'm not exactly sure how you can just find hero points on the ground, but... Oh well. There's also this side quest that we're going to be able to complete now, I'm pretty sure. Have you dealt with those foul beings? Huh? Say what? I have no grandchildren. Wait. Yes, I think I do. Oh, curse my fading memory. Thank you for clearing this up, kind sir. Here, take this as a token of my gratitude. And we get Kopaka's shield. I miss the days of old when Kopaka roamed the snow fields. Well, since we have a shield now... Oh, we can't... Oh, yeah, we can equip the Krana, actually. And I believe that it makes you sort of attack uncontrolled. Uh, so you cannot control your actions, but it does boost your stats quite, quite a lot. So I think I'm going to give it to Kehuti here. It's going to be Berserk, but that's fine. Hey! Well, I've just finished talking to that cold-headed Draga. I think I finally convinced him, though. Okay, so we are ready to resume the, the quest for the orb. Raganuchu is deeply sorry for earlier. Heh, <laughs> right. Turaganuchu says that he will tell you of the orb now. Again with the orbs. Wait, Turaga. Something more urgent at this moment has ar arisen. I think Shadows has control of, of uh, Borok. Turaganuchu says that there is no reason to fear what has happened. We need to fear what might happen. The Borok was on Mount Ihu. We defeated it but there was evidence it had been scouting. Nuju says that that is something to worry about. The Orb of Wisdom lies within the mountain. In Mount Ihu? Turaga Nuju confirms this. He says to go there with all haste. He fears the Borok might be after it. Who better to do the job than the Borok? One was hard enough. I can see why the Rakshi is using them. Nuju says the entrance to the cave that contains the Orb of Wisdom is hidden. He bids you to take the Suva Guard and local Pathfinder Eover with you. Oh, great. Nuju asks that you hurry. So we gotta find... The Suva Guard. Okay, so we're gonna head off to the Suva then. Is there anything else we have to do in this town? Probably not. Is this the guard? Ah, you scared me! All the commentary don't think that... Oh. It's the... We already talked to him. Oh, here he is. Are you the Suba guard, Eover? Yes. Any matters to you? Why? Turaganuchu asked us to take you along to Mount Ihu. We think the Borok are after an item of great importance, which is hidden in the mountain. He says that you're a Pathfinder. He said all that. That, did he? Last I checked, he was a bunch of toots and whistles. You know what Matev is talking about. Huh, you got spirit, Talmatoran. Yeah, I'm a bath pathfinder. I can find my way through any place you can put me in. Well, come on, then. Alright, I'll go with you. It's better than standing around here. 
and we have a new party member. All right, off to Mount Iku. Eover. Or however you're supposed to say that, I'm not exactly sure. I'm... I don't know if we should go shopping before we leave. Oh. Never mind, actually, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna save up for something better. And now that we have him, though, let's check him out. So, yeah, we've got Eover, the tracker. We can give him the hatchet. And with that, he's gonna probably be of use to us. Another snowman, but there was no one inside that one. Now let's see if we can find the entrance to the the orb. Oh yeah, of course, it's the one with the So it's gotta be the entrance that was covered with something. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, oh, we went the wrong way. I wonder if we're gonna be able to... Look closely, there's a cave behind this vine. <laughs> no kidding. It looks pretty strong. The roots must be deep. The borough couldn't have placed it there, could, it? could they? Nah, this vine is natural. Well, hothead, why don't you put your flames to work? Ha, huh, I was going to do that anyways. You need to cool off. Ha, huh, funny. Ha, huh, easy. Sure, for a smelthead. So, our new party member has an attitude. But now we're finally in the tunnel. Just gotta... So, there are... Clearly no new enemies here, just the same old Hapaka from the mountain, at least for now. And it looks like quite a huge dungeon, which is very unfortunate since that's gonna mean that we're gonna have lots of wild encounters with Wahi. I was thinking about showing showing off Eover in battle, but I think we're just gonna do that when there's an actually interesting enemy. Because these enemies are nothing but uh, annoying thing here. Show your wisdom. Follow what repeats. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. We're basically supposed to follow these... these, uh, these cracks in the walls. I'm not exactly sure what supposed to be over here. Uh, apparently nothing. So, moving on the right path here. Okay, so, I think we found the path out of here. It's very merciful that we that it ended up not being that long after all. The dungeon. Because I don't know. Well, no sign of the Borok thus far. Huh, they must know I tread within these caves. I highly doubt that. I don't think the Krana know fear. Hey, I thought we were talking about Borok. Why don't you just zip it, Komatoran? Atev didn't want to take you along in the first place. Huh, he knew better I'd better be. He knew I'd be better than him. Shut up. Matanu, don't you iceheads know how to be quiet? Listen, I want this to be over as much as you do. Let's just get this Karzani for a second item and get back to the pro. Fine. Alright, let's see here. He who treads with might shall once more see the light. He who treads with weakness shall find himself in darkness. He who travels with wisdom shall once again see his kingdom. He who travels unwary shall find that light can be scary. That helped us. Yeah, that little verse didn't help us at all, really. I guess we're just supposed to follow these things again. Or not. Uh, uh, this is turning out to be an annoying dungeon. There's like no indication as to where to go. We finally found something. It's a bone shield. We might as well see if... Uh, yeah, let's just give it to Matev here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the definition of poor dungeon design. This right here. Random encounters plus just nothing. Okay, look, now I'm done. I'm gonna go to here. Alright, we're gonna use up some hero points for one of the most important upgrades in this entire game, which is to reduce the chance of encounters for four minutes. It makes it makes the hero points worthwhile. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna use anything else than that upgrade because these dungeons well okay only this dungeon so far is at least we got to the next map. But I have no idea where we're going. Okay, probably the right direction. And it just keeps going. Going forever. Yeah, it was really a good idea to take that upgrade. Oh, finally. Well, it seems we've made it without sight or nor sound of the Borok. Huh, I wonder if they ever actually found this place. What exactly are we going to going after anyways, Hothead? Something for the Turaga. Come on, come on, let's just get it over with. I'm freezing. Alright. Let's save at this point, because I don't want to go through all of that again. Thy final test is at hand. Choose the right orb, or thou shalt undergo a trial. The right orb. So is it the left or the right one? You chose wisely. Your wisdom truly surpa surpasses all else. Take me. Go on, Firehead. Let's grab the thing and scram. Mata Nui, will you never just shut up? Got the orb of wisdom. Well, we got the orb. No Borok problems either. Strange. Well, let's go then. And just like that we are transported back here, which is really merciful. Oh. Ah! Borok. We got the orb first though, now we just have to get past, past these guys. One was hard enough. Oh wow, actually those random Rahi battles really Attack star health. Oh, oh no 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 no. No 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 no. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, that is bad. We lost Kahuti right off the bat. And the potions are practically meaningless. So we're just gonna have to hope that it's enough to beat them like this. And yeah, you so I was gonna say that you will see Kehudi under the influence of Krana for the first time, but he's dead, so basically he's just Berserk and attacks automatically. But you see Yover, who, well, he has ice powers, and that's his thing. Nothing else, really. Speaking of those ice powers, we might actually want to use them. We're not going to win this battle, we're going to die, but... Yep, that is what's going to happen. Yeah, see, the potion does like nothing. So we're just going to lose and start, o start over. Alright, and we are back. So finally... We can actually battle on a more even ground here. So yeah, as you can see, Kahuti is kind of weird with this whole Krana thing. I chose Kahuti to put Krana on because he doesn't have... Well, he has skills, but he doesn't have elemental skills. So I just figured, okay, maybe we would just uh, use the Krana on him. Now, Eover here could use some ice magic. Maybe we'll see him do that. I could always, of 
course, do it manually, but we'll see. Unfortunately, I only had a ton of potions, so, I mean, I just used them to heal everyone up off, uh, well, on the map, on the game map, so, because in the battle they're practically useless, but on the map you can, if you have dozens of them, you can, of course, heal up a party member completely, so that's what I did. But the MP, or whatever it's called, mana, elemental points, whatever it is, we couldn't heal those. So, yeah, so now Matev can't even use his uh, fire skills, which is bad because these are probably weak against fire, so it, it would have been really nice, but oh well. Okay, but we got one of them. We got rid of one of them. And Kahuri is just about to die and they're missing a lot which is really frustrating it was even more frustrating in the dungeon where the battles themselves were super super easy but the but these characters just kept missing so the battles would take longer than they should have and Kahuri's dead, dead again well at least we're gonna I, I, I'm quite confident we're gonna win this time even though we don't have any really any kind of recovery options at this moment aside from the flimsy potions oh, well it's taking a lot of hits for sure okay we win ha huh. This one is mine. I could have done that. You almost melted a hole in the mountain, hothead. Stop fighting. We're honestly not doing any good arguing. We got what the Turaga wanted. Let's get back to Kokoro and then you two can settle things. Fine. Whatever. Yeah, he's not exactly a likable personality. The Eover guy, but... But he was useful enough for us in battle, and we still have the upgrade going on, so we're not going to be running into any encounters here, which is great. I got so fed up with the encounters in the dungeon. It was a really frustrating dungeon. And it wasn't even cleverly designed, it had nothing going for it, it was just a labyrinth with tons and tons and tons of encounters. Which is pretty much the worst dungeon design I can think of. Okay, let's save before we go into the village. In case something happens. I don't exactly rem remember how the story progresses from here. We return, Turaga. I have the Orb of Wisdom. Turaga Nuchu greets you gladly. He wishes to know of your quest. Well, Matev almost burned all of Kawahi down. If it weren't for me, we'd be sitting in a puddle right now. Turaganuju instructs you to keep quiet, Eover. Thank you, Turaga. We had no trouble with the Borok until we came out of the mountain. Turaganuju believes the Borok may have been beaten here, but they are most likely to try the other Koros. He advises that you go with all possible speed to Pokoro. What's the fastest route? Go back to Takoro, then head, then head southwest. We can't get back to Takoro. Nuchi says that the cable car has been fixed. Never mind. I'll take my leave, Jiraga. Well, Smelthead, I hate to leave you to burn down Matanui, but I have a duty to the Suva. Get going. Nobody's holding you back. Don't melt the island, all right? Get out of my sight, Komatoran. Pah, I hope you catch your flames one day. That's great. Get going. Mata Nui, why can't Tamatoran hold their tempers? Fine, I'm going. And uh, the cloak of ghosts has ended. Wasn't that a bit harsh? He just wouldn't shut up. I have never understood Komatoran, and if they're not going to respect me now, I might as well take a nap while Shadows destroys this freezing place. That's not the way a protector should think. 
You're the closest thing we have to Atoa, and you treat us like Rahi. It's just the Komatoran. No, that's not right. We Matoran may be separated by color and Koro, but we're still all Matoran. You hate one, you hate us all. Maybe you'd like to go home, Kehudi. Send me back to Takoro, fine. I'll be sure to let the Turaga know what a great job you're doing. Fine. Alright, alright. Sorry. I have an island to save and it just gets tiring to see how grateful... Grateful all of these Komatoran are. Well, ungrateful I think he meant to say. A Toa protects all in need of help. Though the, t though the Komatoran would never admit it, they need you just as much as ev everyone else. You have to be the Toa though. The one who sees past their shells and is willing to protect the Matoran within. You should have been the protector, Kahui. Come on, let's get to Pokoro. So, they're actually bonding a little bit here. Matev and Kahui. Let's see what he has to say. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Well, oh, actually... We can heal up in Takoro. But well, we're finally ready to go on to the next Koro here. There is quite a lot of um, development also in this with uh, these characters, which is... Oh, we get a, another set of Avmatori. More strange stones. But I... Yeah, I probably should have healed in Kokoro. Okay. Oh, and just like that, we we're in Takoro again. That was a fast trip. Anyways, I was saying there's some interesting characters here, just like in... Oh. Who, I, who are you? Son of the Toa. Just back from Kowahi, no doubt. I'm wondering, did you get annoyed with all the mountain climbing required to reach anywhere in that frozen land? I certainly did. That's why I built this snow pick. You know those ledges you can jump down on? This lets you climb up those ledges, saving you lots of time. I'm selling it for a thousand widgets. Interested? Um... Sure. Excellent. I'll be honest, this really is a quality item, sir. If time is money, then this snow pick will quickly pay for itself. Keep in mind, you have to have it equipped to be able to use it. Okay, I'm not actually sure if it was worth it, but... Uh, it might turn out useful. Now we're gonna exchange our strange stones for hero points. Alright, with that we should be going... Oh, well, we're gonna go to Takoro, of course, to heal up first. Although I'm kind of curious, actually, what does the gallery look like? I sent the... the Kopaka statue we got. Uh... I sent it here. Oh wait, this is not the right place, is it? It's in my... It's in Matev's room or wh whatever it is the Turaga has here. Wakama. It's probably in here. Let's, let's see. Okay. Oh, it's, uh, right, it's, uh, it's a sort of, uh, way to see our progress. What about here? This is your trophy room. You can buy trophies and every once in a while you find one laying around Matanui and they'll all be displayed here. That's Toa Kopaka from the Bionicle Sega 2001-2002. He's the cool one. Get it? No? See, because he's the toe of ice and ice is cold, so he's cool. Wow. Takua is really useful to us here. Which probably also... There was this one thing to buy here. Yeah, and we're gonna go for... The Tahu Trophy as well. And with that we are healed. And we can finally go to Pokoro. Alright, let's see what Powahi looks like. Okay. Is this a... Oh, it's just a random stone. Okay. It's a, the road looks kind of funny with the grass around it. So, 
we are probably gonna end up in the other places later, so let's just start off with the Pokoro village. And clearly the enemies are still the same, which is really weird. Like, why is it always the same enemies everywhere? Well, Kowahi had some variety, but... But this place doesn't... Stop! You may go no further. Who are you to deny two simple travelers entry? Fools, Pokoro has been devastated by Bullrock. Then we are too late to help. I won't let this stop me though. Pomatoran, have you heard of an orb hidden here? I don't know what you're talking about. However, if you want to help... Time is against me. We'll help. Matev, that's your job. Our job. Of course. Listen closely. A friend of mine is wandering around the quarry. Tell him I sent you. He can take you to our hideout. Hideout? From the Bow Rock? That seems quick. Thank you for your help. We'll go to the quarry. Alright. That's what we're gonna do then. It's kinda weird that the Bow Rock are... The, the role of the Bow Rock in this... game is kinda strange. <laughs> They're just sort of... Oh, we've got some new enemies here. Kanera. And they're not any more difficult than the previous enemies we fought. But yeah, the role of the Borok is really weird, because they're like servants of the Rakshi. Not at all how they're in the official story. Okay. Must be that guy over there. You must be the comrade of the Matoran guarding Pokoro. He sent us here. You've come to help save Pokoro? I do not agree with my friend's schemes, but I will not disobey. I suppose you want me to show you the, uh, camp? Yes. Follow me. Hmm, this is our camp thing. You sure managed to whip up a hideout pretty quickly. Did anyone else escape? Escape? Uh, no, just my friend and I. What's your name, Atoran? Keroki. Not like that's any of your business. When shall your comrade return? Nightfall. You're free to look around until then. So we can clearly see that something is wrong here with the whole... For two Matoran, they have a lot of stuff. Even the Karoki guy even mentioned, oh, like a Protodermis, even mentioned schemes and stuff, so. I don't remember what it is that's wrong here, but something is quite strange about this place, obviously, so. We're just gonna go through all these chests here. And. I guess soon we're gonna see what the whole idea is behind this. I've never seen books like these before. Alright. Oh, and we can actually... Oh, we got an art piece for the art guy. What do you want, Matoran? You have some very rare artifacts. May I ask where you got them? Night has fallen. The Borok are showing no sign of leaving, either. Hello, Kiroki, fellow Matoran. All is not well in Pokoro. The Borok are doing things to the Matoran. What do you mean? They're giving the poor Matoran new glowing masks. They make me sick just looking at them. Do the masks look like this? Where did you get that? We've seen some action. My friend and I came here as va fast as we could to save Pokoro. I had figured that this would happen. Now that we've explained ourselves, it's your turn. I was just asking your friend about all the stuff you have. Um... No, don't tell him! What are you hiding? Well? Kiroki, we have to tell them. We're thieves. Thieves? I know. 
Now that you've come clean, we can finally work together. What? You still want to help us? For now our causes are the same. This was all his scheme. You see, my friend planned on, on saving Pokoro to pay for his crimes. And you? I would not betray him. Then for now we are allies. When, if Pokoro is saved, I'll see what I can do to help you pay up. Uh, really? I can't thank you enough, Matoran. What is your name? And your friend? I am Matev, the son of the Toa. My comrade is Kehuri, a traveler. Traveling with him, we're going to save Matanui from shadows. Matev, son of Takan? I've read legends of you in my books. Aren't you dead? I'll remind the chronicler to rewrite history for me when this is over. Right then. I had a plan, but I assume you have a better one. Perhaps. What do you have? Three of us should go into Pokoro and directly, and directly attack the Borok and try to save the Matoran. The other shall go and free the Turaga. The Turaga is apart from the Matoran? I saw it all happen. I think the Borok purposely waited for the Turaga to leave. When he did, they attacked him, then went for the Matoran. I have some idea of where he may be, and I volunteer to go for him. I, sh I should. They're probably guarding him. They are, but your power is needed in Pokoro. I'm a thief, remember? I specialize in sneaking in and out of places. Alright. When? First light, tomorrow. Alright. We all know the plan. Kiroki, you're with us. Right. I'll be off then. I'm ready. Same here. Alright, let's go. So, we have a plan. A new, very interesting party member. A Matoran thief. You don't really see that often. And we're gonna save the Pokoro, but we're gonna leave that till the next episode. So, next time we're gonna put our plan into action and... Probably save Pokoro. But until then, see you guys later.